Welcome to WP Math. In this video, I'm going to be discussing about one of the key features of the WP Social plugin, which is the Social Counter. This feature will allow you to show your social media followers, fans, or subscribers in your web page. But before getting into it, if you don't know about this plugin or you don't know how to get this for your website, go ahead and open up the description box and watch some of the videos we mentioned there. Alright then, let's get into it. After you have installed the plugin, navigate to WP Social, then go to Social Counter. In this page, you'll basically find three tabs. The first one is the counter settings, the second one is the providers, and the last one is the style settings. Inside of the counter settings, the first option you have is the caching time. By default, it comes with 12 hours, but you can make it 1 hour or 2 hours, whatever you want. But for now, I want to make it 1 hour. That means in every single hour, it will take an auto refresh and find the updated data. Alright? You can use the default font family using this option. At the bottom of this page, we have the shortcut option. Using the shortcut, you can use the social counter anywhere you want. Now go to the providers. Inside of the providers, you'll find some of the widely used platform that you can use to show your followers, subscribers or the fans list on your website. From here, I'm going to be using Facebook, Twitter and the YouTube. Go to Facebook, click on getting started. There you have to put your Facebook page ID. There is my page ID. Then you can change the default Facebook fans or the text below the number and the label name. I don't want to modify any of this. I just want to save it. All right, now enable it. Now you are ready to use it. Now there is two ways to use it. The first one is using the widget area and the second one is the short code. Let me show you the first one, then the second one. In order to use the widget, you need to go appearance after that widget. From the widget list, find WSL use social counter. I want to use it instead of the sidebar. So I'll drag in here and then you have the title of the sidebar and the providers. I want to select all of them. Then you have the styling option. I want to choose the first one and then you have the hover style. I want to keep it none. All right, now update it. Now go to post and open any of them. Now the right side, you can see the output. All right, so this is how we are going to be enabling the Twitter and the YouTube. Go to the Twitter setting, use the Twitter username and the access key. If you don't have an access key or you don't know how to collect the access key, don't worry, we have a detailed documentation of collecting the access key. To do this, visit our landing page, go to the description box and find this link. From here, you need to go to docs and there you'll find all the necessary documentation that will help you to collect the necessary credential for using social counter. Alright, I'm going to use my existing access key, then you have to click save changes. After that, enable it, then go to the output, refresh the page, and this is how the Twitter followers will look like. You can change this style and also the hover animation. Now let's enable the YouTube. Alright, now you have learned how to enable the social counter. Now it's time to show you the hover animation, the style and how you can use the shortcode. Go to the counter settings, copy any of the shortcode, now go to the widget area and drag in our text widget. Inside of the text widget, paste your shortcode. Alright, now save it, go to the output and refresh it. Alright, after you refresh the page, you'll see the output. Here I have removed the social counter widget and used a shortcode. Alright, now it's time to show you the hover animation. Go to the social counter dashboard. After that, go to style settings. From here, you can select the hover animation, whatever you want to use. Let's choose the zoom one. After that, go to all the way down and save it. Go to the output once again and refresh the page. Alright, now let's see what kind of styles we have. At the bottom, you'll find the option to select your style. Let's select this one with the border. After that, again go all the way down, save changes, go to the output and refresh it. And this is all about the things you need to know in order to start working with the social counter. Alright, thank you for watching this video.